Sharp? No, I don't, I don't do anything. You're doing perfect. So like after a week in a swing, mm -hmm. like a week. Mm -hmm. I mean, do I still want to move it some to get after about that week, then we'll start doing some okay. wiggle around. Because the thing is, it takes about five to seven days for those cells to stick. Because they, they're not going to, just because we put them there doesn't mean that they want to stay right, right there. So the more you move, the more apt you are to move those. Kind of like letting cock set in your shower before you shower again, you know? Right. Sort of. So yeah, you're going to get stuck from just being immobilized for a while. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's that's kind of it. Most people say, you should have told me how sore I was going to get just from not moving. Okay, that's yeah. that's their big thing. And then we'll get you moving a little bit. Just very strict guidelines as far as what... Well, I know in surgery they have to have them actually manipulate their own... Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not fun. Um, but after about day seven, that you can get back into Stuff. You know what I mean? So that'll be nice. That you, wow. you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it'll be it'll suck because it's a tease because you can do some, but not like what right. you really, really want. Right. And then we'll just kind of see um, what's going on with your shoulders and all this other kind of stuff, and that'll dictate how fast we can get back in other spot. Mm -hmm. Okay. So everybody's well, definitely like everyone's been telling me, do it right. And yes. 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 Try to rush my so. Yeah. No, but the, these first few days I, I cannot stress to you. Don't don't screw it up. You don't want to go through this. You know what I mean? Oh, that no just kidding. oh you, you don't want to go through this again, you don't want to pay for it again. You know what I mean? It's just not so I hope you can find some really good looks. <laughs> you know? And just just chill. You feeling okay so far? Okay, you're probably gonna feel some pressure. I'm kind of poking on your hip a little bit. You've got awesome strong bones. I hope so. Yeah. That's the one shitty thing about doing all your CrossFit people. Holy yeah. crap. Like the That's bones. fine and fat. Fine and fat and, and strong bones. Strong bones. Doc always sweats on CrossFit people. Like, it's a given. You know, and just everybody else is just like, doo 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 doo. You know, it should be the fat part of my body in there. Doing okay? I'm good. Okay. I can see anything. So All right. The bone marrow part, this is the worst part of him. Yeah. You might feel kind of a toothache, or is he okay? Okay. I feel it. Yeah, so this is the part that everybody was freaking out about. You're in the okay. middle of it right now. And she's smiling. Like, look at her face. Like, she's seriously chilling right now. Yeah, it's almost over. Like, you're welcome if you wanted to come and look at her face to see that she's okay. As long as I, I believe you. Uh, <laughs> you okay. have no idea my pain tolerance. It's not I mean, That's part of my problem is my pain tolerance. Yeah, it doesn't. You, you don't get the sign to stop. No. Like you're after, you know, after her knee and disc mm and -hmm. all those good things. Mm -hmm. That was cheesecake. Yeah. All right. Of course, you were past the point of no return, okay? We got about 50, 40, 50 here. CCs, we're going to go for 120, but we got our bare minimum. So Already. Yep. So see how good you are? Mm -hmm. You're amazing. Yeah, she is. <laughs> you're amazing. You're amazing. What a good man. 60. Do you want to see your bone marrow? Uh, okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, just don't worry yeah. about me. I'm the least good. Okay. I'm not going to. It's just a little bit. Isn't that pretty? Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. Sorry, I don't mean to be flashing around. Okay. She's got good bone marrow. Pretty. Like it's a fine red wine, very, Mrs. It's Bush Orange. Miss Bush Orange. It's like a fine red wine. If I'm not like scared to clean either, I'm milk does cheese it, Taco Bell. You work out human. so that you can eat like that, right? Mm -hmm. It's always eat. I eat. <laughs> it's got better when I first met her. It was like popcorn and Dr. Pepper and milk does for dinner. Wow, I just don't like the Dr. Your Pepper, okay? Performance would be like if you actually did a decent diet. You know I what know. I mean? That, I always just, yeah. 
Gosh, you get a trap. How did you do that? I don't eat fried food. Amen, sister. But what did Jared do? He did this weird thing for a while and then realized it wasn't working. Like he was carb carbo- backloading. Yeah, carb backloading at night. I did that. And, oh man, like he ate a dozen donuts one night. Like <laughs> late at night. You can you can do it without doing the bad bad carbs. Yeah. I mean, it depends on. I mean, really, the, the premise behind it is replacing your glycogen stores every day. But okay, you're gonna feel like clicking. You, you don't have, have to do it like that. Ta-da! And that's what's going to go back in your shoulder once it's spun down, and they get what they need out of it. And you should look at it when it spins down. It's kind of cool. And look at that. That thing is out of you. That stage one is done, okay? That's a whole lot smaller than the ones that they use at my house. Yay! Good job. He's like a cheerleader. You need to come back on a regular basis. Can you do that? Yep. Go team! All right. Get a flexible green and black pom-pom. You're just going to have to spin everything down and then work on your shoulder.